Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. And joining us this morning, it's a real treat. We have Linda McGee from Friday Night Live with us. Thank you so much for being here. How are you today, Linda? I'm great. Good morning. How are Good you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you so much. So friends out there, get ready to snap your fingers, move your feet, and salsa. Friday Night Live tonight has a Latin flair. So if you missed the last two weeks, do not make that mistake again. So Linda, tell us all about tonight's big show. Well, and, and yeah, the last two weeks have been absolutely great. Yes. You guys have been spot on with the weather. We've had no problems there. And tonight's a big night. It's Latin Fiesta, and we have the Charisma Band as Ooh. our uh, headliner. And they are originally out of Holland, Michigan, have quite a following in Tejano music. And the opening for them is the Bad Boys. So it's going to be a great night tonight. And uh, we also have a little bit of a... Um, twist to it tonight that we have uh, a charitable element okay. so we have east side soup kitchen that is going to be down at the plaza and we're encouraging people to bring non-perishable items down to the plaza if they are so inclined That's, and help them out that sounds so exciting so i know that chris and the rest of the first warren five weather team they've been hard at work making sure that everyone is updated on weather conditions and tonight it's going to be picture perfect sunny dry and warm really a beautiful night so tell us a little more about the live element and also this charity event. What can people do? How can they really help out with this charity event? Well, you know, it is. It's If, if we could have a snapshot of a yes. perfect night weather-wise, I think this is it. <laughs> and um, the Eastside Soup Kitchen is actually at the plaza every Friday night. Great. Uh, collecting non-perishable items. So if you can't make it tonight and you can make it one of the other Friday nights that we've got left, we ask you to just consider bringing down a non-perishable item okay. and helping out those in need. And that's um, great. And other than that, you mm -hmm. know, it's just, it, like I said, this is one of the big nights, so yes. we're going to have lots of fun tonight. Yeah, you can help your neighbors out, help the community, and have a great time as well. So it's so exciting, Linda, that live music is back in mid-Michigan, and Friday Night Live is not over, Linda, so tell us about some of the upcoming bands and uh, singers that you have coming up. Yes, be happy to. In fact, tonight actually uh, marks the halfway point in okay. Friday Night Live. Uh, we still have three more nights after tonight, and we come rearing back in August, next Friday, with the Downtown Hoedown, mm. which is our country night, and it is also a salute to veterans, nice. which is uh, a, a nice element that, that the Y brings over uh to the park that night. And our uh, headliner for Country Night is Dylan Carmichael out of Nashville. Wow. And we have Mandy Lane and Lost Highway, which is one of our local favorites. Then on August 13th, we have the downtown, or we have Michigan Made Night. Mm. Um, and we want to look at what artists we have in Michigan that are special. So who's more special than Bob Seger? Oh my goodness, so we yes. Have, <laughs> we have a tribute, not Bob. We don't have Bob, he has retired. Right. But we have a tribute band uh, called Looking Back that wow. is a Bob Seger tribute. And then we have the Blue OGs, which is Ooh. one of our also local favorite blues yeah. groups from right here in Saginaw. And then we wrap up the year, again, the series this year with Motown Music Fest, which is always a huge night. Um, we have Denise Davis and the Motor City Sensation coming and the Detroit Social Club. So that's a great way to, to end the series on a big note with lots of people in the plaza. Yeah, there's something for everyone there, a little bit of everything, a little taste of it all. So, Linda, if and people are planning on coming down tonight, we have to let us know tonight and at the rest of the events, what should they know to have the best experience when they're coming down there? Well, the big thing is it's a free concert. Oh, excellent. You're, you're welcome to come down and you know, bring your lawn chair, bring your blanket, um, and come on down yeah. and join us and just enjoy the music. And we do have food vendors. We have both um, soft drinks and water vendors and adult beverage vendors. And those are all available for purchase. We do ask that you don't bring any coolers in. We don't want any pets in because mm. that just kind of complicates things yes. a little bit. And if you're going to ride a bike down, come on down on your bike, but just park it on the outside of the venue and then walk on again. Wow. Food, live music, entertainment. What else can you ask for? That's excellent. Okay, Linda, anything right. else that you would like us to know about this if people are contemplating if they're going to come down or not? Um, 
the the parking is is relatively easy the the ramp is closed right now for okay. reconstruction right but there's lots of street parking there's uh some open lot parking that we have some uh organizations that are charging like five dollars to park but it's very easy to find parking all around the plaza Okay, a halfway point. Do not miss it. The weather is going to be gorgeous. That's a perfect way to kick off the weekend. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm sure you're going to have an excellent audience tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun. You can get more information yes. in the hot link section, WNEM.com.